All right, I want to make a quick video on Revelation chapter set, or sorry, 18 verses 7 down to verse number 10 and how it really refutes this uh, heresy pushed by the new IFB of America being Mystery Babylon. Okay, Now, America is most certainly a daughter of Mystery Babylon, the Roman Catholic Church, the Vatican. But America itself is not Mystery Babylon. How do we know? Well, Revelation 17 clearly spells out the attributes of Mystery Babylon, but this passage in Revelation 18, this, this excerpt, I mean, it further shows that this cannot be describing America, and I'll, I'll explain why. Revelation uh, 18, verse 7, down to verse number 10. How much she hath glorified herself, and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For, see, for she saith in her heart, I sit a queen, and am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. And the kings of the earth, who, had, who have committed fornication, and lived deliciously with her, shall bewail her, and lament for her, when they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off, for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, city, not nation, uh, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. And verse 11 talks about the other people who are weeping over her. Okay, notice how they're weeping over this city, Babylon. Okay, this cannot be true of America because let's just come down to the blunt truth of the matter. Uh, there are plenty of, of uh, nations and, and peoples that hate America, and justifiably so. I mean, America goes around warmongering, you know, they they uh, fund other states like Jesuit controlled Israel to do some war mongering as well. I mean, America is, is not, you know, it, this cannot be describing America. They're gonna they're gonna be whale and everything else when she's judged, because there's there, in most places associate a lot of the you know social liberalism of America, like you know the the LGBT and you know all the other abortion, feminism, all that immorality. It is associated with they'll say it's an American disease. Why? Because America has caused itself to be hated in all the countries they, they so-called spread democracy to, which is basically invading them with ground troops and killing their, their civilians and everything else. You know, America is is justifiably hated, you know. But, so, I mean, when if, if America was destroyed, you'd be hard-pressed to find pretty much any nation in, in uh, most of Asia, probably most of Africa, parts of, uh, I mean, a good a lot of parts of Eastern Europe. Uh, you'd, you'd be hard-pressed to find them bewailing, oh, you know, it's so sad America's destroyed. No, they'd probably be celebrating, you know. I mean, you know, America's got so many different enemies, North Korea, China. I mean, you know, uh, anti-American, you know, anti-Western sentiment is very widespread in India and other places. I mean, you know, this is not describing America. The, the kings of the earth will, you know, will bewail her. And I'll say, well, the American aid to all these countries. That's not the same thing as living deliciously. All these countries receive American aid and are still, you know, in lots of poverty and everything else. It's, you know, not describing America. It's clearly describing uh, the Vatican, the place with, you know, the, the run by the Pope. He can walk into any of these countries that hate America, and they all love the Pope. They let him in. He has complete diplomatic community. You know, never mind the fact that all of his priests are out there, you know, doing stuff to children. I have to be very censored for the for YouTube. He can walk into any nation, and, you know, everyone loves him. He can go into communist China. He can go into, you know, Hindu India. He can go to Muslim Pakistan, and he'll have... You know, people fanboying and fangirling over him. Why? Because Rome is Rome is mystery Babylon, not America. So I wanted to show you guys that. Just totally makes a big problem for Anderson's heresy. Uh, and it is a heresy, by the way, because it's totally destroying, you know, it's, it's destroying the, the legacy of the saints who were killed by Rome, but also just totally distorting the scriptures and just twist. I mean, how is America a city? I'll just ask that. Oh, the great city Babylon. What? America's a nation. Now, I do seem to recall Vatican City being a city, but whole other issue. Uh, this is one of the many blatant errors of Stephen Anderson. You know, I used to follow him for a while. For two years, I was following him, and I believe this idea of America being Babylon. You know, looking back, and that's why I expose Anderson a lot, too, because, you know, he says a lot of truth, but his doctrine is very, er very error-filled and heretical, to say the least. So, wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.